Well, hello, my gentle people and people out there who are very loud and boisterous about my little attitude about Fox News. And, you know, I can't help it. It wasn't inaccurate. I had 15 people sitting in the damn living room with me listening to Fox News. So don't even give me that shit. I could have 30. Half 40, I could have 50. And everybody's goddamn, what did you call us? Um, messed out, blah, blah, blah. I don't even know what you said. I could go back to your notes. Make make a video, would you, Jay Fry? Show your face. Make a video. You know, it's easy to write blindly and say anything you want to blindly. But, you know, you know what my face looks like. If you ran into me and say, oh, I know that bitch. <laughs> and I'd say, he knows this bitch. He'd probably buy you a beer, sit down and say, you're still a fucker. Because you are... You're a fucker. Oh, thank you for the ball. <gasps> Ryan. It's like a little cigarette form. It's not a cigarette. It's a little tiny pipe at the Show end. Them. It's got, um, what is, what is this stuff called? That one's just some kind of grape kush. It's a grape kush. Or grape ape. Or grape ape. They, hey, they name them. I don't. But anyway, this stuff doesn't really bother me. But it must bother Jay Fry. I usually don't smoke this stuff because it really does hurt my lungs. And my lungs, the scar tissue is finally healing up from smoking after... I hadn't smoked for seven, eight years, but things have been a little tough lately because of uh, certain things happening in my life, you know. My life is getting a little shorter as I move along. And since I move along, I decided to, you know, smoke a little bit, you know. But usually I use the, um, it's like a peanut brittle. It's brittle, not peanut brittle, but it's, it's brittle because it's kind of brittly right. and it's a wax. And I use dabs. Dabs are very strong. It has 67%. I was told today by a doctor, 67 THC um, factor to it. It's pretty strong and it's used for cancer patients and people who are really sick and dying. So, crack. I've never tried crack. I've never tried meth. Never tried heroin. Um, I, I mean, it's a fact, Jack. You know? Oh, Jack out there, not you, Jack. <laughs> Just Jack. And, um, you know, so I'm like, wow. I don't even drink. Okay, I'll have a, that much wine every now and then. And, and, and I did drink a half of a Budweiser. They come in barbie cans. They call them like this big. And then they also have Pepsi. And that big a can, too. Little baby ones, yeah. Baby cans, baby buds. Yeah. And they're great, you know, with a hamburger now and then. Yeah. One, half of one of those will probably finish me up. I'm I'm, I'm not much of a drinker. Yeah. How much of a smoke reader? You almost finished a beer the other day. Uh, that was rare, though. So, now I'm, yeah, so I think I, you almost finished And then it. I have a vape. Got to show off my vape. It's not really my vape, actually. It belongs to somebody else. Um, this has, what, what is this called? It's a Kanger Tech. Kanger Tech tank. I, I argue with no more about this. Dual but bottom coil atomizer. Dual bottom coil atomizer. And it, it's basically a man's thing. I don't like them. They're too big for me. I like the little ones. Thin, petite. I don't smoke that much of them. But anyway, all it is is uh, vape, water, moist, well, not water, steam. It's just steam. And there's nothing for me. Then, of course, we have this. Now, I will probably. <laughs> why are you coughing? I'll Stand probably choke on. Oh, yeah, well, that'll do it to anybody. Then, of course, this is a cigarette. We all know what this is. Is this Jesus, vice God help me. Huh? Is this Vice Night? Yes, it's Vice Night because uh, Jay Fry thinks that I'm a full-blown crack addict. Mm. 
Am I a full blown crack addict? Mm-hmm. Uh, this is not even a crack in it. He's Me? not. You know, I take what? How many how many pills in the morning? 17? Quite a few. 17, 20, 30. We, we've lost quite track. And then at night, 17 or 30. And do you know that not one of them have anything to do with anything illegal? They're all uh, medication and they're all to keep me alive. And you know, to be honest, um, if you got a problem with that, I'm sorry. You know, I'm going to live probably not as long as you. The world will have to put up with people like you. And I won't have to be around to worry about it. This here is for, what is a this for? Rig. This is a dab rig. And the water's here. It's like a baby bong, except it's spe specifically for dabs. What you do is you warm it up with a, um, a hot lighter. Torch. The torch is what I use. So let me see. The, is there the torch? torch? We don't have the torch. It's in the safe. Anyway, we put the dab in there as soon as it's boiling hot. And it boils in and then you go like that. There's nothing in there right now. And it's very strong and it's not meant to pass around. It's meant for the patient themselves. That would be me. Okay? It does help with, um, uh, let's see, two Percocet, two Valium, and then um, that. Crack addict? Drug addict? You try the pain I'm in. Do you want to? Do you want to put up with uh, losing your memory and... Sooner or later, knowing that sooner or later, I won't even know who you are. Aren't you glad? You can dance and be happy about that. So if you're yelling at me, I wouldn't even know why you're yelling at me. Of course, I probably won't be here then. Because I won't know what this was or is. I'll take my own life before that ever gets that bad. Because I already told myself, I'm, I'm not going to forget my children. I decided on that. It's calcifications on the brain. Or the base, I'm sorry. The base. The base. But you know, you don't have to care about that either. As far as my political views, I was talking about uh, poor. I think it was the only black Republican um, uh, running. And the poor guy. I felt for him too. It, um, all he did was say, they asked him the questions, what would you do? He got caught in it. And that's what they were trying to do. They set up a trap for him. And, you know, there's a few people dropping out. Hell, when it's the, Repu when it's the Democrats' time for their little debates, yeah, you guys are going to have fun with that. Hell, I'm going to have fun with that. You think I'm just hard on the Republicans? I'm not. I'm not at all. I am hard on Democrats, liberals. <laughs> libertarians, federalists, you know, I vote for the person who is more likely to probably make more sense. Well, I win this election, not me personally, but anything. Well, I'm, you know, I'm not a Hillary fan. I'm just, I never have been. I, I just, I just, you know, if your husband was going to run again, I, I would vote for him. I will be honest. I would vote for him. I don't care about the damn blue dress. And you can't tell me, Jay Fry, that um, you're holier than thou, and there has not been a blue dress in your life. I bet you look good in it. <laughs> I mean, seriously. You act so... You don't act pure, actually. You're pretty filthy. And, um... I can't imagine. You can't act like this in real life. Not with the job you do. And if you do... You're working with the wrong people, or the people working around you must go through fucking hell. I don't know. But I do know that any chick involved in your life has got to be, I don't know what, <laughs> but she's not holier than thou, and she ain't no good girl. Have to be. Because there's no other good, sane, good-hearted woman that would be near you. Now that I'm done insulting your being and your personal ability, predicate the fact that I admit that you've got brains. I always have. I admit, and just knowing instinctively that you're not a dummy, I've never put you down that way. Because you're not stupid. You're allowed to an opinion. You know? Hell. John, 
he holds goddamn grudges. He's going to be holding a grudge against me after I'm dead. I'm going to make him a pallbearer at my funeral just to piss him off. Oh, you too. I mean, you too. It's not going to be easy. It'll be easy for you guys. You guys, my, well, the son's going to be playing Ding Dong, the witch, Wicked Witch is Dead. You shouldn't, you will enjoy it. Enjoy it completely. You know? It's really kind of fun, isn't it? And as far as my view on the bear and bow hunting, I'm sorry, but that bow hunter was an idiot. My brothers know how to shoot, and they never miss their mark. I am bragging about my brothers. I'm bragging about my real father. I'm bragging because I know their abilities. They're going to hit a target they never miss. Not to my knowledge. And they feed their family with what they kill. I don't know if you've ever even been hunting. I know Jaw has. Have you, Jaw? I bet you have. And I bet you, you use your meat, don't you? My family fishes. They love to boat. They love to... <laughs> my brother kayaks, climbs mountains. I mean, I come from actually a pretty good damn family. And I'm actually considered in my community a pretty okay gal. Am I a little wild? Hmm. Well, yeah, I am. But you're not my God. And you have no right to judge me. But I'm always going to be honest about my private life. I always have been, you know. Ah, everybody knows that I'm a habitual flirt. I am. Everybody knows I have a problem marriage. Let's see, what else can I put in there? Oh, everybody knows about certain things that they shouldn't have known about. And that's my fault. So what else do you want to know about me? Hmm? Oh, yeah. My daughter. You attacked me about her. Knowing damn full well. No, not knowing damn full well. That little apple came from another tree because I got news for you. She did not come from my tree. I don't know what happened to her. And I'm sad that it did. But that chick has got her own thing. And there's such thing, too, as having to turn your back on your own kids. You don't think that's painful? You have little people, from my understanding. And then you have not faced such a thing even close yet. You're still young, Jay Fry. And I don't think Jai has children. So don't judge until you know. And until then, be careful what you say about other people, especially in my position. And me showing a nipple, Mr. Blumenfeld, how many times have I posed nude for people? Can't count the times. Can't count the times. And I did a major thing for um, uh, Brian. Uh, he's a, an artist. I won't say his last name, but he is well known. And um, he, uh, he was doing a breast cancer thing, and he needed breasts. Good breasts. A lot of women posed for him and his breasts and in pictures. Well, then he got wrapped up in a theater thing. And uh, he works full-time. And he's in plays full-time. And he thought the play was closed in three weeks. And then he was going to finish the project. Never got to it because the play decided to keep on running. Which is good for him because he gets paid for it. Now, why I'm explaining this, I have no idea. Maybe it's because, oh, a female that's on this site that has decided to make it okay to fucking obliterate people. Now, she's been obliterating me for a long time. There's something wrong with her. And to be honest with you, I'm far more sane than that bitch. Thank you. Now, then we got that clear. Anything else about these Democrats and Republicans that I have to say, I'm going to be fair. I'm be honestly fair. You know, when I said about the neurosurgeon, I was honest. Maybe you can help me. I mean, seriously, you do not know how many doctors I get a hold of. You don't know what's going through. I have DDD, de degenerative disc disease, on top of all this. On top of all this. Plus lymphedema, which is caused after four years after having chemotherapy. It's a, a very late effect. 
you know, and, and you didn't know that. You know, you have no idea what's going on. And people smoke pot in this site and they're meth addicts? You crazy? I have never seen anybody on any of these sites that I've been on that acted as if they were on heroin or anything else. And even if they were, I'm not going to come and ask, come out, come out and ask, I'm sorry, do you smoke meth? What the hell? I mean, that takes a lot of nerve, you know? And that fight that I had with Mr. Daw years ago, I think we're going on five or six years now, Jesus, Lord Almighty, is so far gone and dead, and I wish he would let it rest. Instead, he takes it out on me. Now, he didn't have to like me. You know, when I told him to meet me in Hangouts, I meant it. I want a face-to-face. -face. Can he say this to my face, everything he says about me? Stupid bitch, stupid cunt, on and on and on. I mean, he's with a decent woman. I can tell she's decent. I can tell she's God-fearing, and I can tell she is probably a salt of the earth. And what the hell is he doing? You know? Sorry, but I don't go for it. You know, and I'm sure he's a good man. I'm sure. I am positive of it. Just that tooth pulling with his brother kind of offset me. It's probably because I don't like Dennis. <sighs> Maybe Jaw is a dentist I didn't know. Anyway, musician Dennis, he's probably that's damn talented, let me tell you. You never saw that one, it was pretty good. Anyway, <laughs> it was, I mean, I still laugh about it. You know, job for all practical purposes is actually probably, like, he's, a, he's a good guy. I mean, people like him. A little conceited, but, eh, you know, give him that. He's not bad looking. Not bad looking at all. You, on the other hand, no one knows. <laughs> we can't call you ugly, can't call you anything. Well, nobody has seen you. Maybe we have a picture of you, but we're not sure, you know. Maybe you're this little wild-haired man that just runs around like a little puffy meanie. That <laughs> I just see this little hairy guy walking around with this bat just smacking people. I hate women. Yeah. Lies? I'm not telling any lies. I think you should probably watch who you're calling a liar when you don't have facts yourself. And, and you know, and I have facts, and I, I do go off science. I also go off of things that are very spiritual. I kind of mix the two together. Um, atheists, true atheists, don't like that I mix the two together. And then there's doctors who are scientists and scientists who are scientists who are very religious. My doctor says a prayer with me at every end of my physical. Why? Because I am not going to be around till I'm 65. We know it. How can I be? Surgery after surgery, something's bound to kill me. It's a side effect. I have an immune deficiency to <laughs> problem. I mean, it is a nightmare. My DX, my diagnoses are so far. <laughs> they take up 25 pages. And the things that they have done for me medically. They are not done yet. And when they're done, they're just going to say, we can't do any more for you. And I'm going to let that go. I'm not up for a kidney transplant. I, I don't qualify. I just don't qualify. So, we'll all go through dialysis. You know, I've gone back and forth through that. I'm not to that point yet. But when I come to it, I mean, there's a part of me that will probably say no. But there's a part of me that will probably say yes. I've got people that really love me. You know? All right. You know, the people out there that hate me would probably really like me in real life. I'm actually very fun. I'm actually very nice. I don't know, you shouldn't have to convince you. It just, this is the way it is, you know. Um, uh, politically, I, I do like uh, 
Saunders so far. I'm basically a Democrat Socialist when you get down to it because of how I believe and how I do my life. My life is sharing. I mean, if I had to sell everything in this goddamn house to help my damn neighbors, I probably would. And I probably end up selling my stuff anyway because right now I need to help myself. Things are expensive. Medical, electric. You know, I take up a lot of money for my medications. My life. The gas trips. And I mean, some of my doctors are 100 miles away. So we're doing 200 miles in a day. 100 miles one way, 100 miles another way. What what more do you want? You know? I mean, you speak your mind. Half of it, it's just a blowhard. Knock it off. You know? I'm good with friends with Arjun. And you know why? Because he's decent. And I know whatever he's saying behind closed doors to whoever he's fighting with... I don't want to hear it because that's a guy thing going on. Because all I know is Argent to me is a little brother and I would, I will always go back to bat for Argent. Um, I know sometimes he's done some very naughty things and he has. And, um, and I know that. I'm not blind to the fact. But Argent knows that I've had little tamper tantrums because I don't go behind and go, hee 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 hee. On my computer and the emails. I just say it out loud, and so then my pub, the public will hear, and my parents will hear, and my sister will hear, and everybody will go, "Oh, not again!" You know, that's the way it is. My oldest grandson graduated with an associate's degree. He's going to be working for a year, and then get his bachelor's. My youngest grandson is a little bit of a different story. However, you know what? He has improved and suddenly he wants to become a lawyer. And lo and behold, he's getting straight A's. Now, either by the grace of God, it's a miracle, or by the grace of God, he's, God's being nice to this kid. Everything's wrong with this kid. I mean, um, medically. It's, and it is caused from shit. Bad shit. But not shit I did. I didn't do it to my own kids. I didn't do it to anybody's kids. I'm being falsely accused. Now that you have done your rant and your insults to Lori and everybody else, you don't even know what the hell anybody is doing or why. You just scream. You don't want to do research. You just want to scream. So you scream away. Keep on screaming. You have got to have either painful fingers from all the typing you're doing when you're angry. Or you're screaming as you're doing this. And going hoarse. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Maybe you should rethink a lot of things. I think maybe you should rethink you. What do you think? I think you should. People are worth more than you give us credit for. And um, I, I really think you owe, or maybe I don't owe anything, you, you're allowed to your freedom to say what the hell you want and how you want to say it. But I would apologize to all the people that you're accusing of they, they don't even know what the hell you're accusing them of. They didn't even see the last video. And those that didn't even see the rest of the video don't even know what the video was about. John didn't even give me a chance. It's kind of crazy. And he doesn't give me a chance just because he hates my guts. You know? At least his better half gives me a chance. She's decent to me. She's a nice woman. I, I like her. I think her and I get along good. She could probably show me some stuff. And, and t I don't know if she sews or not, but I do need some help in sewing. That's what I have now. I'm, I don't have much anymore, sir. I've been redoing dolls. 
Google. I'm trying to remember things. And I know you don't feel sorry for me. I don't want you to feel sorry for me ever. I'm just emotional because that's who I am. And I think you're mean. I just think you were born mean. Or maybe something made you mean. I don't know what did this to you. Maybe someday you'll outgrow it. I don't know. Maybe I should care. Maybe I shouldn't care. I wouldn't be making this stupid video if I didn't care. <laughs>